Important developing news right now because two people are under arrest for a double stabbing at a local sports complex. Now we've been working on this story since Monday night when police tell us two people were stabbed during a flag football game in Somerset. The suspects just faced a judge a short time ago. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau is working the latest developments. He joins us now live from Somerset with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. The two victims in this stabbing are said to be doing better this morning at Rhode Island Hospital. Both conditions are improving. Meanwhile, surveillance tape playing a key role in this investigation. The suspect, one of them, is the same 20-year-old who was arrested the night of the stabbing, now rearrested and arraigned this morning. 20-year-old Justin Farland is charged with four counts, including two for attempted murder. Surveillance video from where the game was played shows the taunt and defendant stabbing both Rocha and Hilario. You, you, you see him on the video, he actually stabs one guy, then he circles around like a vulture, and then he goes in and hits the other guy. 20-year-old Erica D'Souza is charged as an accessory. Police say she was waiting for Farland and drove him away after the stabbing. Neither defendant has said where the knife is. We interviewed her and re-interviewed her and re-interviewed her several times. She kept changing the story about where the knife might be. Police also say the two teams had fought during games in the past. The last time they played, threats were made. There were some harsh words exchanged, and Totten guys did say, next time we fight, we're going to come back with uh, knives and guns. We're not, not going to use our hands. And they followed through on their threat. A lot of people that play for the Terriers have criminal records. We ran all their criminal histories. We interviewed over 30 people. Um, and there are some people that have been involved with law enforcement quite extensively. That have been Farland, according to the chief, did not play that night. He was on the bench, actually. Meanwhile, the two victims, 29-year-old James Hilario, is in satisfactory condition, improving. 29-year-old Steve Rocha, now in good condition at Rhode Island Hospital. More tonight on Eyewitness News. Now we're live in Somerset. Walt Duteau, Eyewitness News.